all began. These are the monster trucks you've been hearing so much about. They're everywhere, on television, and competing in major stadium events throughout the United States. What's it all about? It goes back to World War II, when we built vehicles that were four-wheel drive and used heavy-duty parts. This technology is now being used in building these modern-day monster trucks. It all began here in this small garage just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. In 1976, Bob Chandler built the first legitimate monster truck and called it Bigfoot. It began as a four-wheel hobby. Chandler was constantly adding new heavy-duty equipment and larger tires. Soon the truck was too big. New headquarters were built for Bigfoot. It included a retail area. A test was a full-blown production line to manufacture Bigfoot monster trucks. The trucks are designed on a computer with all the latest innovations. Once built, the trucks, of which there are now ten called Bigfoot, head for the stadium circuit, where millions of people each year watch these trucks climb and crush cars. Another early pioneer was Everett Chasner in his truck, USA One. He and Chandler teamed up in the early days and really helped the sport get going. In 1984, there were less than 100 monster trucks in the country. Today, there are several hundred with a variety of body styles and power plants. Half the fun is just watching these monsters. Saturday morning cartoon show, crushing cars and chasing bad guys. Chandler's ultimate monster truck was this baby with 10-foot tundra tires. It takes eight hours just to bolt the wheels on once everything's been shipped to a specific location. 35,000 people came to Anaheim Stadium to watch as this behemoth of pickup trucks rolled and crunched its way across the tops of these cars. Chandler hates the mud pit. Take a nice, clean shiny truck and you hit that mud and all you can do is put your foot to the floor and hope you're going straight to the pit uh you've got you know you've got 30 or 40 hours of cleaning once you get out of the mud and uh you give it all you got see why Chandler finds the mud distasteful. It gets in and under everything. Parts of the engine actually have to be disassembled to clean out the gritty mud that could cause expensive damage. Today, the trucks are faster and stronger than ever before, and more dangerous. Here, a Bigfoot driver hooks a wheel on a straw bay. Fortunately, no injuries. now is the first televised side-by-side -side monster truck championship race. It took place in the Louisiana Superdome, and the finals brought together Bigfoot, driven by Jim Kramer, and another popular truck, Awesome Kong, driven by owner-builder Jeff Dane. It was an unusual event, racing each other over obstacles. By the time they got to the final stretch, the two trucks were dead even, but it would be Kramer driving Bigfoot that would pull on the power to win the first ever side-by-side -side monster truck national championship. Another early pioneer was Jack Wilman, one of the most aggressive drivers on the circuit. His specialty, while driving his truck Taurus, was climbing over school buses and cars. Jeff Dane, who you saw earlier, who loves to crush mobile homes. Here in his truck Awesome Kong, he attacks yet another trailer park. Now, you wouldn't think so, but these heavy monster trucks will float on water. All the air on those big tires give them plenty of buoyancy. Of course, not all monster trucks will float. 
And that's what Monster Madness is all about.